welcome back to my channel. Good morning. It is Monday morning and I just woke up, as you can probably tell by the general appearance here. So today I am going to be filming a good old fashioned what I eat in a day video. I haven't done one like how I eat in a while. Obviously I ate like other YouTubers and let me tell you, I am so happy to be eating like myself again. So I thought I would show you guys the kind of things I've been eating recently. I eat pretty balanced, nothing is off limits. I don't count my calories, I don't count my macros. Um, I eat what I want. I really, really enjoy my food. I thought I would just share with you guys some recipes. Um, you will have seen in last week's vlog if you watched it that I was talking about these apple crumble oats that I've been making. So I'm definitely gonna show you how to make those today because they are insane, they're so good. And then I don't actually know what else I'm eating today. I haven't planned it, so we will see together. Thank you for joining me. If you're new and you enjoy what I eat in a day videos, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you'd like me to do more of them. They're some of my favorite videos to film. And without further ado, I need some coffee right now. Let's do this. I'll see you in like an hour for breakfast. <laughs> I'm in my workout clothes. Sabrina is getting an outing today. I'm gonna make apple crumble oats and they're gonna be delicious. So first thing you're gonna need is an apple. You guys know that on a Monday, I usually stew like six apples, which will last me and Tim for a week. Um, but I only have one apple and it is Monday. And cause Tim was away, our food shop rotor has been kind of switcherooed. So uh, yeah, I only have one apple, but that's fine. There's one of me. This is like a quick cheat way of doing it for like one person portions. If you didn't want to stew loads of apples, you can just do it this way. So peel, of course. Chop it up into small little pieces. One apple, I just pop it in a Tupperware. You guys know the drill, cinnamon and nutmeg. I put so much cinnamon and nutmeg in. A Little bit of water, like that, and just give it a little. And then I put it in the microwave for like 90 seconds. Okay, we got some stewed apples. Next we have our secret ingredient. It's the My Protein Impact Whey Protein in the flavor apple crumble and custard. This is a game changer, my friends. This is a game changer to the stewed apple porridge situation, okay? Apple crumble and custard flavored protein. Okay, back down we go. We're just gonna take half a scoop of that, a little bit of water, and pop it in the microwave again. Okay, everyone, we got some oats. Yes, I like mine basically solid, okay? Do them how you like them. <laughs> so all you then put on top is your stewed apple. I'm literally gonna do all of this. Usually I would have half. For the crumble, granola. I've made granola loads of times on my channel. I've actually got a new and improved recipe. So if you would like to see it, then comment down below and I'll make that for you. It's like the healthiest granola recipe I've made yet. And then because I feel like it, let's put some blueberries on top too. Mm -mm. Oh, you know what would be really good? A vanilla soy yogurt and it's custard. But instead, I'm gonna do a little bit of butterscotch syrup. This is honestly the best. It's my current favorite breakfast. I'm gonna go and enjoy my apple crumble oats and I will see you guys in my workout. I need to leave in about an hour. Oh, and I'm also gonna make myself a cup of tea. I hope that you guys are in focus because I focus it with my laptop, but my laptop's not next to you right now. If I'm out of focus, I apologize. But I'm just about to run off to the gym. So I am gonna pre-make my protein shake because I'm actually gonna go straight to the shops 
after because I need to pick up a few bits. Let's make a protein shake. I may just go for chocolate. A little bit of milk. And then a bit of water. And this is my post-workout meal snack. down pb of 75 kg deadlifts i'm sorry about the sun the sun is coming straight into this window but it is now 2 30 and i'm gonna have lunch um sorry if you can hear my tumble dryer it's really loud so what i'm gonna do is make myself a coffee and kind of drink that while i make my lunch because realistically i'm not actually gonna eat lunch until three because i have quite a lot to prep but it's monday and i like to meal prep a lot on a monday anyway but you guys will have seen that recently I have been eating Buddha bowls, or I call them nourish bowls, a lot. Which is basically just loads of really nutritious foods in a bowl. Just chuck whatever you fancy in. So I usually have like one or two sources of protein, um, some fat, like a few different vegetables, um, and then like a rice or couscous or, you know, some other kind of carb. So that is what I'm going to have for lunch. Um, but I need to prep all of the different ingredients, which means I'm gonna have quite a late lunch But I had my protein shake in the middle of Sainsbury's while I went and got some food So that will tide me over until like just gone three. I may have to move you because It is pretty bright. Okay. I've moved you over here um, because if I'm honest the Sun was just driving me a little bit insane <laughs> What do I need? Okay, so I would usually make these vegan, but I have got some chicken breast that needs using up. So the protein I'm gonna have, the protein source is gonna be um, chicken breast. I'd usually use um, tofu or tempeh, but um, I need to use this up. My carb source is gonna be some sweet potato. My fats are gonna be some roasted chickpeas, which also has protein and carbs. I then like to sear sweet corn and then I add some like lettuce and some cucumber um, and yeah it's really filling and really delicious but first I need to prep the chicken the sweet potato and the chickpeas let's get cracking oh hey it's voiceover Emma but you weren't expecting that I start by cutting up my sweet potato I do it into quite small chunks so that it cooks quicker basically I just can't be asked to wait for it to cook And I pour that on a tray and I add a little bit of oil. I like the um, salty, peppery, and paprikery. <laughs> and these will take around 50 minutes in the oven. And then I half drain my chickpeas so I keep a little bit of the gooiness so that I don't have to use as much oil but it keeps it a bit lubed. Ooh. I add salt, pepper, chili, garlic, paprika, and mix it all together. And then I actually pop this just in the air fryer. It is such a quick way to get really nice crunchy chickpeas. So I cook that for in total about 20 minutes um, while the sweet potato cooks. And now I'm gonna cut up my chicken again into bite-sized pieces. And I'm actually gonna pour that into the same bowl that I mix the um, chickpeas in because I just use, again, the kind of goo to cook it in instead of oil. And then I add paprika, chili powder, oregano, basil, garlic, and of course, salt and pepper, my faves. Stir that all up, make sure it's pretty evenly coated. 
and then I'm just going to pop that into a pan and fry it up until it is well cooked and like I said I'm going to make a latte so I've just been using this Nescafe sachets because I bought them for the YouTuber what I eat in a day and um, I really like them so this one's a vanilla one and it's so creamy and frothy and delicious and then I like to add a little bit of cinnamon and that's a game changer put cinnamon on the top of your lattes it will change your life then just keep moving the chicken around until it's completely cooked. Next, you are going to want to char some corn. Uh, sweet corn is so much better when you fry it up a little bit. Just try it. I'm cooking it in the chicken juices, which sounds a bit gross, but it's delish. And then the chickpeas should be about done, so I'm just going to take those out, as well as the sweet potato. Look at those crispy, roasted chickpea goodnesses. Um, and the chicken is all cooked as well as the sweet potato and the sweet corn next you just add your cold elements so I chop up some cucumber it's always a must delish I love cucumber and then I also cut some little carrot sticks for you know optimum dipping And then it's just time to put everything in the bowl. So I start with the sweet potato and then the sweet corn. Obviously you don't have to present it like this, but I just like to, I don't know, I just like it to look nice. So some chickpeas, I normally do about two tablespoons of each thing. Um, little carrot sticks, some chicken, and then I also put some lettuce in, and then a teaspoon of hummus for the carrot in the middle. And I just like to kind of mix the hummus with the other things as well. Oh my god, it's so good. And it's just such a vibrant, nourishing bowl of food, hence, nourish bowl. Look at it glistening in the sun. So delicious. So, so good. Happy dipping. <laughs> Lunch is ready and prepped for the next few days. So easy, but delicious. Smashed it. This latte, oh my God, it's just so good. Present time. Mm. This is an addition to my what I eat in a day that I wasn't expecting. I'm gonna... From the land of Dorset. I'm gonna eat them all. Can I have one now? Of course, they're yours. You can do what oh, you want. <laughs> it was between that and like gummy unicorn things, which look kind of fun. Um, and they were a weird flavor, but I thought, nah, they look really nice. It was a whole sweet shop, so I was like, I've got to get Emma something. I got myself some stuff. Go on. Right. You're not eating yours? Not all of them, no. So I can try one. Yes. <laughs> Smelling it. <laughs> he smells their sweets. Look at the full experience. <laughs> mm. Very nice. Mm. Can I have one? Mmm. Oh, that's good. Do you finish it? You sure? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you just have another one. Mm. I only have one bite. Mm. 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 What's I eating today? Wacky sticks. I love sweets. <laughs> I love them so much. Tim got himself toxic waste. It's got two different a flavors. Fusion, blue or red. So when you say, f are they two flavors within one? Apparently. We have to guess the flavor, and we're not. Al Do you know the flavors? No. Oh. Oh, okay. And we're not allowed to move our faces. Cheers. Cheers. Am I doing it right? Or should I be like... No, we're both winning. Oh no, my eye just went, so didn't mean. I think mine started out with watermelon. What is this? This is not sour in this one. <laughs> this is exciting. Raspberry and lemon. Banana and blueberry. Banana. I quite like that though. They are cool, they're nice. I think that's why I don't eat too many sweets, so I always used to have these, and after you eat like five toxic waste, make you sick. your tongue just feels horrible. I could eat sweets all day. I'm gonna have one more and then take it away. <laughs> I need to put these away because I'll eat the whole packet without question. All right then, ladies and gents, I'm now gonna make dessert before we make dinner, and then I'm gonna get straight into making dinner. So, let me, here's one I brought. But here's one I prepared earlier. Protein banoffee pie. Don't get your hopes up that it's gonna be a banoffee pie. It's not a banoffee pie. But it is as close as I can get to banoffee pie without actually using toffee or cream, okay? And it's got a lot of protein in it. Let's give it a crack. You wanna start by making a flax egg. One tablespoon of flaxseed, two and a half tablespoons of water. Then I used four low fat digestives into a blender with half a scoop of salted caramel flavored protein powder. 
You then want to blend it up loosely so it's kind of chunky and mix it into the bowl with the flax egg until it starts to come together. Adding tiny little bits of water as you go just until it becomes almost a doughy crumble texture. And then I'm popping them into two Tupperwares which are oven safe and pressing them down to make the base. I'm just popping them into the air fryer for around eight minutes on 180 degrees. And while that cooks, I am going to take about half a cup of Greek yogurt. And I've also added a little bit of double cream because it was left over. You don't have to do that. You wanna give that a nice stir, get it nice and combined, and it will start to thicken up a little bit. And then the magic ingredient are the My Protein Toffee Flavor Drops. I use about 10 for two desserts, so 10 drops. And this is kind of gonna combine the toffee of the banoffee as well as the cream. So it's like a two in one. And then of course, the ban to the banoffee, the banana. <laughs> So slice up your banana and then take your little bases out of the oven, let them cool. And then it is just adding the bananas on top. We're gonna do a double decker today. So a layer of banana followed by a layer of your yogurt cream toffee mixture. It's very, very good. And then another layer of banana on top. This is such a great high protein dessert. It is delicious. It is as close to a banoffee pie as you can get with the limited amount of sugar, high amount of protein. It's a winner, man. I mean, I hate to toot my own horn here, guys, but these look pretty great. They got loads of protein in. Yeah, there's some sugar. Yeah, there's some fat. But as far as a little mini banoffee pie goes, I've actually made these before, but I, instead of putting the digestive as the base, I actually made like oats. So it's kind of like an oat cake. So you just make some oats with the same protein for everything on top and it's just as good, but this is more like a dessert rather than a breakfast. You can definitely have banoffee pie for breakfast every day if you make them like this. There we go, that's dessert. And now I am going to make dinner. For dinner, I think I'm gonna make us some aubergine with cod, pesto, and then some green veggies, yeah? Let's get into it. Oh, and I didn't mention, these are actually even better if you leave them overnight because it starts to kind of soak in. So you get like a layer of like squishiness and then the crunch at the bottom. Of course, you can eat them straight away as well. I've had them the day of and the day after. Both are good, but I prefer them slightly the next day because the banana also kind of infuses with the yogurt and it tastes like yogurty, banana-y, caramel, toffee goodness. If you make this, make sure you send me a picture because I'd love to see. And these at Tupperware are amazing because you can bake them in the oven or in your air fryer as well. So yeah, there's literally like no mess. It is all in this. Ta-da. <laughs> it's dinner time. Look at the aubergine because it's dinner time. So first I'm gonna slice half an aubergine. I'm gonna pop the cod in the oven and I just pop some pesto over the top. It's so easy. I do this all the time. It makes anything taste good. Just slather it in pesto and bake that in the oven for about 16 minutes and while that bakes you can prep the aubergine so i'm putting a bit of oil on some salt a bit of pepper and a little bit of garlic as well because you know i love me some garlic powder next i prep the veg so we're just going to have some green beans and some asparagus and i like to steam that and then i'm going to sear the aubergine just give it a good amount of time on each side so it's a little bit brown you've got those lovely lines i'm also going to grind up some pine nuts to use as like a crumb at the end to add a little bit of texture and then you just pop your aubergine on your plate Pop your cod on top when it's done. Yum, yum. Sprinkle on a little dusting of crushed pine nuts and then serve with some veg and some basil. And it's a very easy dinner, but it is absolutely delicious. Oh, wow. That's delicious. Mmm, this is good. We're gonna enjoy this now and then we'll see you at dessert. Tim's gonna have the one that I made today, or one of the ones I made today, and then I'm gonna have the one from a couple of days ago. Tim has tried my actual proper banoffee pie, so you have to also say how it compares. Okay, here we go. I've tried a good and bad other banoffee pie. Yeah, we don't talk about the bad one, okay. Mmm, <laughs> it's also very nice. It's actually, do you mm. actually like it? Yeah, mmm, mmm. What is that flavor? Salt caramel protein powder. That's it. That's, that's on the tip of my tongue, that one. Compared to my regular, 
and health wise mm. taking health into account yeah i'd say it's just as good as the other one but i do prefer the other one obviously of course but it, doesn't this nice. feel like a banoffee pie mm. oh yeah 100 we're gonna eat these now and i'm gonna do a little bit of editing wow the camera quality has gone from 100 to zero on this video i'm so sorry i was using my big camera and then it died i am going to enjoy my delicious banoffee pie and probably end the night with a herbal tea and that is what I ate today. So thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing some nice recipes. I'm sorry I didn't like get dressed for you. Um, that's what happens when I have a workout like bang in the middle of the day. I don't actually end up doing my makeup because I don't want to ruin it halfway through the day. Thanks for watching. <laughs>